On Maui tonight, frustration is growing among the thousands who have been left homeless after the country's deadliest wildfire in more than a century incinerated much of the island. Recovery crews have still only searched about a quarter of the devastated areas looking for bodies. The death count, which stands at 99, is almost sure to go up. Those who survived the inferno say their needs are being ignored by the government. They say most of the help they're getting is from community groups and from volunteers. But government officials say the island's remote location is making relief efforts challenging. Joining us now live with more is News Nation correspondent Alex Capriello. Hey, Alex. Hi there, Elizabeth. On the island, we are seeing a remarkable effort from the community, locals helping locals in any way that they possibly can. But at the very same time, this wildfire is much bigger than anything they've ever seen. And many of them tell me that they feel a sense of disappointment at what they believe to be a very slow response from the federal government. Tonight, criticism is mounting over the federal response to the devastating wildfires that has wiped out the town of Lahaina, home to 13,000 people. The death toll, now quickly approaching 100, is expected to climb. And as thousands of homeless sought donations of food and shelter in Maui, this was the scene in Delaware over the weekend, where President Biden vacationed at the shore, seen lounging in beach chairs. Can you come talk about Maui? Riding his bike, and at one point, responding to a gaggle of reporters with the words, no comment, when asked about the situation on the island. One Maui resident who spoke exclusively to News Nation says he believes the response at the federal, state, and local level is a complete failure. Everybody knew by 7 p.m. that was well, Lahaina is gone. And the first photos came out and like, and we're like, all right, you're a governor. You get on the phone, you got to speed dial the president on speed dial, and you say, as they used to say in the paramedic world, when you were into something massive, we would say, send the world. That means everything humanly possible, send it all now and it didn't happen but president biden speaking in milwaukee today reassured the federal response to the disaster promising billions of dollars in aid and saying he'll visit the island soon i don't want to get in the way i've been to too many disaster areas but i want to go and make sure we got everything they need I want to be sure we don't disrupt the ongoing recovery efforts government officials acknowledge the relief effort is challenging due to maui's remote location but the commander-in-chief says FEMA has supplied 50,000 meals, 75,000 liters of water, 500 beds, and 10,000 blankets to the thousands of locals who need help. More than 3,000 people have already applied for aid from FEMA and will receive an initial stipend of $700 to purchase water, food, and medical supplies. Crews will continue to search for bodies among the wreckage, and their names will be publicly identified once their families have been notified. And Elizabeth, that search, rescue, and recovery effort should continue for at least the next few weeks. As of today, those crews have actually only searched about 25% of that disaster area, which is the reason why we believe that death toll to continue to climb. All right, Alex, thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.